Hey, this is Jake over at Heartland Marine. I'm going to go through a boat that literally just came in yesterday. It's a 2001 Sea Ray 210. Normally, I like to try to wait until we get them cleaned up and detailed, uh, but I've got some folks asking about it, so I'm going to show it basically as is and let you know what we're going to fix, what we're not, if anything. Sorry about the noise. The guys are working here in the back, but we'll start here at the bow. A couple small little chips, looks like, just from trailering. Nothing very deep, so those are just uh, light little surface stuff. Not going to worry about those. The hole looks good. I don't see anything of concern. Like I said, just a little dirty. Needs to be power washed. Gonna have a few little scratches here and there in the decal, but those are gonna always be replaced or taken off. I mean, they're not bad for being an old one. Couple little spots on this side in the graphics. Again, not a big deal. That's just a little road grime. Overall, I would say the exterior, apart from being dirty, is above average. Um, no real damage that I saw. Let's take a look inside. So here we are inside. I uh, just gave it kind of a quick view and uh, vinyl actually looks nice. I didn't see any major rips or tears at first glance. Of course, got to get it cleaned out, got all the leaves and everything, but let's take a closer look back here at the sunbed. Sunbed actually looks really nice. The back bench seat looks good. It definitely doesn't look like it sat uncovered for very long because the dash and all the vinyl is still nice. It's not faded or soft or, excuse me, brittle. Even the trim pieces in wood, those usually fade pretty quick and those are still nice. Captain's chairs with the bolsters, both look good. Let's check the backs. We are missing one cup holder here. Uh, I do have those in stock, so we'll put one of those in. Built-in cooler. Yeah. 
So you've got storage here in the helm, and then this door acts as a wind dam to block off. You can close the windshield, puts a little cooler out so you don't get airflow through the cockpit. Bow seats are in great shape. No rips or tears up here. You've got your front hatch with an anchor in it. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this up. Give me just a second, I'm gonna figure out how to pull the engine hatch. So it was just this top portion here that opens and there's a little latch right here in the middle. Wherever that little cutout is. It's got the Merc five liter. Dual battery set up with a switch. See if I can get a shot underneath the motor. Yeah, it looks good. So I would say overall, once this boat's cleaned up, because that's really all that I noticed was just dirty, it's gonna be a heck of a nice boat. And I'm not gonna pull the bimini out right now, but we'll go through it. And if there's any rips or tears uh, in the bimini, we'll address those and get that taken care of. Uh, again, this is Jake over at Heartland Marine. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Area code 816-394-8850. Thanks.